Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, CityZilla. And today we are going to be building out another airport. I know it's been uh, probably about three weeks now since our last airport, and so I really have been kind of playing around with this, and I hope you guys like it. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing I want to do, we are going to grab this guy, go in here, and we want to create a terminal. And so I'm going to come up here, and I think we are going to even go like maybe right here. And so we'll have it branch off like right there. We'll turn on Anarchy, go like that, and then we're just going to copy it on this side. Go like that. Yeah, look at that. And then we can even um, kind of bring this forward because I want it to be uh, parallel with this other road. So we'll go like right there, and then we will come up and go like right there. And then I'm actually going to jump in to move it as well because I want these to be parallel too. So we're actually going to shift this guy over just a smidge. Not a lot, just enough to get... Yeah, there we go. I think that looks better, and we still want to make sure our curves are, uh, our slope's not too bad. It is a little steep, but I'm not super worried about it at this point. And then we are going to grab these two guys and then have them go up. And so the idea is we are going to put a nice modern terminal right here. We're going to have it slope up, but I want to do some plateaus right here with a little bit of a transit hub on there. And then we're going to do some nice curves around the outside and uh, have some pretty cool it's pretty fun little ideas and so first thing we need to do is jump in here and I've already painted out our airport area and so now let's go in here and we are going to choose this ultra modern two-story two terminal and so I want this to be not too far but also far enough to kind of give us some space so maybe like right there is good yeah I think that's probably good and then let's go ahead and draw out this this terminal as well so we're going to come out and we're going to turn back on snapping we can go ahead and pause we're going to go two out and we're going to go two out. And then what I would like to do is create a nice little curve. And so we're actually going to jump into rural roads and then we are going to go uh, let's say two out uh, ruin that one. So we are going to go two out and then two up and we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to go two out and then two up. And I kind of want to zoom out and see how wide that's going to be. So, I mean, that's really not going to be too wide. Maybe we could go even one more, but I know we're going to need to fit in a, a cargo hub here too. So let's actually draw this in and then um, we can always come back and kind of fix it. And so we're going to delete these guys. We're going to go like that. We're going to go like that as well. And then I think we're going to go one more out just so that we can get a nice uh, ending point for our terminal. And we will come in here and delete these. And the reason I did this is just because it uh, allows me to uh, draw a more perfect more perfect terminal. So we're going to come up here and you know what? I feel like that's not bad. I just, I, I kind of wanted the curve to be less pronounced. No, you know what? That's actually not bad. It is a little bit smaller, but we're going to be doing more than one terminal. So I'm not super worried. And then it gives us a little space to be able to do a, a cargo, potential cargo terminal right there. And so now what we are going to do is jump into roads. We're going to go over to buses and we're going to go to our handy dandy three lane, one way with bus. And we're going to come out to, I'm going to go out to this way as well. And then we are going to go ahead and draw this guy straight. So we could go ahead and I don't think we're going to switch that to bus lanes just yet. So I think we'll go into highways and we'll come in here and we'll switch over to a two lane. And we'll have this guy just go straight for right now. And what we're going to do is have a road branch off of this and we can go ahead and make it the bus lane already. I actually kind of wish that was a little further back. Maybe we will upgrade this road to the two lane. Because what I'm thinking is we'll have a nice turnaround and I would like it to kind of go above this. So I think that's actually a pretty good spot for it. I don't particularly like how, how uh, short this would be. It would kind of create a little bit of a scenario for us, but I think it's going to be okay. And so... We will then jump in here, go to bus, and go to this guy. We'll have this guy branch off. And there we go. We're going to try to copy that on this side. Yeah, it's pretty close. It looks like uh, the left side is a little bit farther out. So I'm going to go like that and then like that. And so what now what I want to do is create a nice curve for this. So we are going to jump into the network multi-tool. And if you're interested in the mods that I'm using, go ahead and click on the link in my description and it will bring you to the my mod collection. And so we're going to go to create connection mode. We're going to hit this guy. We're going to hit that guy. And we are going to click the, both the nodes. And so what I want these to be is about even. So maybe if we go out to 
80. I feel like 80 is pretty big, but maybe we'll go like that. And then we will bring this guy up and we'll bring it out as well. And I think we're actually going to shrink this guy down. Maybe we'll go down to 55. Yeah, you know what? That's actually much better. And I think that's pretty good. So maybe we uh, we could even bring this up a little bit more. Maybe we'll go like right there. So we're going to say 80, 0, and then 63, and 54. All right, so we are going to hit Enter. And then now what we want to do is go ahead and copy it on this side. So we are just, just going to basically do the same exact thing with the network multi-tool. So we're going to go like this, bada bing. And there we go. That is our basic shape for our first part of this. And so now what we can do is jump into the upgrade tool. And I want these to be ground pieces. And it actually looks like so maybe we'll just upgrade this guy. Go like that, go like that. And you know what? I think that's probably good. We'll just do two on either end. And so now we can actually bring these guys back just two, just so we can get in here. And then let's um, go ahead and start doing a plateau. So I think what we want is... We want a level that is about even with this right here. So we're going to come in here and I think like right there, maybe let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. And I think that is a good height. So then just, just make it a little easier. We're going to fill in this whole space and there we go. And then now what I'm going to do is jump into our handy dandy key walls. I'm going to use these bridges and piers, simple C wall. And I'm just going to trace it all the way around and then probably leave them incomplete down here. And there we go. And so now I'm just going to jump in to move it. And I just want to clean, clean these up a little bit, especially with these key walls. They uh, oftentimes will clip the sidewalk or just end up in a kind of weird shape. And what I would really like to capture here is a consistency. And so I'm actually going to draw these back too so that they're not on the sidewalk all the way. We would want the wall to be just on the other side of the sidewalk. And you know what? I think that actually looks really good. And so now my idea is we are going to jump into a parking garage, parking garage. And then we are going to place these guys down. I could have just done that. We're going to place these guys down in the key wall. So we're actually going to do one right there and we're going to come over here and do one right there. And then I'm going to jump in to move it. And what I'm going to do is shift these guys up and then we are going to lower them down. And so the idea is, is that basically the, the key wall is not there, even though you can kind of see it a little bit there. We're just going to imagine that that's, we can actually delete that little bit of key wall too. I think we'll do that just to clean it up a little bit. In my test build, I didn't, but I think it would actually help this out tremendously. So if we just bring this back just a smidge, not all the way, like right there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And then that way we can at least get a little bit of a cleaner look on this side. So I think that's actually really nice. Um, it is kind of weird that that little uh, rubbish bin is right in the way, but I think that looks great. And so now what I would like to do is basically copy the same thing on this side. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go ahead and delete that guy. And then we are going to bring this back. Yeah, there we go. And so I do want them to be at a similar distance from I'm using this uh, top level as a kind of a guide. So I actually would like these to be just a little bit farther apart. So maybe if we smidge these over... Yeah, you know what? That's probably about the same distance. And then I just want to move this back so that it's not directly in that area. And then we do need to uh, shift our key wall just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and shift this guy too. And you know what? That actually is pretty good. And so uh, the reason I did that is because I, I really don't want to see how this key wall flipped. It's, uh, it's because the grounds, a lot of times whenever you're working with key uh, anarchy, your key walls will flip. So I'm actually just going to delete this guy and then redraw it in. All right, and there we go. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this little outside a little bit. We're gonna jump into a path and we are going to use this European pedestrian path because I really like how it looks. I'm going to force an elevated piece, go like that. And then we will force an elevated piece, go like right here. And the reason for this is just clean up that ledge. Um, it's just gonna help it look a little nicer and then um, it's gonna allow us to Maybe say that there's some entrances right there or something. And there we go. Look at that. So that actually doesn't look bad. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit real quick. And there we go. So the goal was to create a little bit of a crevice in there. And then I think we're going to do some palm trees and stuff. And so now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy it over here. And there we go. So now we have some nice parking garages that are sitting within the key wall. But it looks really good. It's flush with the key wall. It does look like I messed up this guy a little bit. 
Yeah, there we go. Our paths are still good. This guy's good. And so now the idea is, is we're going to put a bus terminal right here, and then we're going to put a metro terminal right here. And so I want to create a couple layers here too. So we are going to go down here and we're going to grab the level, level terrain tool. We're going to go like this. And we're going to choose a height. So I want it to be probably about halfway between that. So if we go like right there, I think that will be good. And the, re the reason I want to do this is because it's going to create like a nice little welcoming area. Um, I, d I actually didn't get any like welcome signs or anything like that, but we're going to end up doing some decorations and we're going to make it look really nice. And so what we need to do is um, come in here and do a road layout. So we are going to grab a small four lane road and we need to do a road for our bus terminal. So we'll come up here, go like that, and then we will go in the middle Turn on snapping so I can get that 90 and we'll come out here. I don't think we're going to need it to be that far, but we'll go ahead and see. So what we're going to do is put a metro terminal in here. We're going to grab this guy and we're going to go. Yeah, you know, we could even butt that up. I kind of want it to be separate, but yeah, I think we'll go one out because then it leaves us some room to be able to do some decorations and stuff. And then that way we can actually uh, ship this back to because it did go far. Because I, I think we'll just leave one... Uh, one square of zoning on this side too. So then we will come up over here, go like that, go like that. I'll actually have that one come out. And so now we have something to connect up these roads to. So we will grab this guy and we will come up here, go like that. And we will do the same thing here. Yeah, there you go. Actually, it looks like it came out pretty level too. I don't really like the curves on these though. I wonder if we can just shift this a little bit. I mean, it looks like it's going in, but Maybe we can actually just shift this over a, a little bit. Yeah, that actually, it looks a little better. It still looks like it's going to the right a little bit. So maybe we'll play around with that a little more. And so now what I want to do is kind of get a little crazy with this. Um, this is something that I haven't really done just yet. And so I'm actually not going to show it. I find it a little boring to actually watch, but I'm going to use some procedural objects to basically deconstruct one of these and extend it out. And the reason I'm doing it is because I think it looks really cool if we can ex make this station a little bit wider. And so what I'm going to do is make it about this wide on this side and about this wide on this side. We're still going to have the one station, but I think it ends up looking really cool. All right. And there we go. And if you guys are interested in watching um, some behind the scenes stuff like my jump cuts, um, I'm going to start uploading them onto my Patreon through Vimeo. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how I made this, um, go ahead and check that out. I did end up having to adjust a little, a couple things that I don't particularly like as much like the color, um, the middle, our main train station ended up orange, but I think overall I was able to capture a lot of it. You can see like a glass piece up here, but I think it looks good. And that's really what I was going for is just a really big kind of transit hub. And so I think this definitely captures that. And so let's go ahead and move on. We are going to go ahead and jump in here and I want to do this small guy. So we're going to come in here and I was really hoping we we're going to have a little bit more space, but let's place that guy there and then let's go ahead and shift this over. And it really looks like we're just limited on space. So I think what we're going to do is um, shift over these guys just a smidge. So we're going to go ahead and grab all these nodes. And then we are going to do the same thing on this side. And there we go. So now it fits a little bit better. I think it's kind of weird that there's parking spaces up here. But maybe it's like uh, workers to where they have uh, little golf carts or something. And there we go. And so now what we need to do is go ahead and hook up our roads. So we are going to jump into bus. We're going to now move over to a one-way since we don't really need them. Um, these pieces over here to be anything other. We are going to go to unmodded since we want them to be ground pieces. Come up over here and I'm going to go ahead and use move it to shift this guy forward. And so we are going to go straight. I want these to be at the same level. Maybe we'll actually have them go up just a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm just going to copy it on this side and voila. And so now what I want to do is do a nice curve turnaround for this. And so we are going to first off grab the spot that we want it to land. So we're going to go out here, turn off snapping, go like this. So we're going to go into network multi-tool, go to create loop mode, choose both sides, and then create, click the node for the direction that we want it to go. And I want it to follow this main road before going all the way around. I don't want it to be a big circle. So I think we're just going to stick at 50. I think that's good right there. And then we're going to go ahead and copy it on this side. And there we go. So we have our two turnarounds now and we can go back through and make sure that they're facing the right direction. It looks like this guy is. We'll have this go like that. Turn on anarchy. 
And then we will have this one going out. So yes, it's going, going like that. We can go ahead and flip these as well. Yeah, there we go. And then I think for these um, upstairs ones, what we're gonna do is just have them turn on snapping, go out here and I don't, yeah, go like right there to the very last node right there. And then we are just gonna have this kind of curve down into it. So we'll have it go. All right, and there we go. I don't particularly like how this turned out, but I think it is gonna work for our purpose. Initially, I'd hope to kind of turn this around, but with this um, upper section, it's making it a little more difficult. And so, but we do have access from out here to the upper section, and then we have access from the upper section to the lower section. And so now the transit hub is connected to the terminal, which is really what we needed to do here. And so I'm just going to kind of clean up these roads a little bit. It looks like we just have a couple that are backwards. I actually think that's probably it right there. And so now what I would like to do is jump into our key walls again. I actually go into here first. We're gonna go like right there. And I want this to be symmetrical. So we're gonna go ahead and go like this. And then we are going to bring these out to the edge. And then what I wanna do is turn these in. So we're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna go like that. And then I wanna kinda copy the same thing on this side. So we're gonna come down here. We'll go like that. And then we will do the same thing right here. Go like that. And we just wanna kinda of clean up these a little bit. So I'm going to bring this down. And we'll bring that down as well. And then we um, need to kinda of clean these up too. So I have these go like right there. And it looks like this space is just a little bit farther than that other side. So, hey, you know what, that actually looks really good. It does look like this one's a little bit sharper than that other one, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. And so we are then just going to level these out. And then I wanna jump into the level terrain tool and we are going to lower our little plateau right here. Go like that, perfect. So then what we're gonna do is I wanna create a little bit of a plateau and just so that we follow symmetry a little bit, we are going to go ahead and create our first key wall right there. And then we are going to curve this guy up, have it go like right there. So we're going to do the same thing on this side, go like that. And then I'm just going to use move it to tuck these in. Yeah, there we go. Couldn't really get the curves over here that great. And so I decided to uh, kind of take a different approach with it. So then we are just going to level it out now. And it actually looks like it is pretty level. I think this looks really good. I like how this looks. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and do some decorating. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into some trees, just kind of decorate everything up and then we will uh, jump into a plaza and stuff. And so I will be right back. All right. And there we go. Um, super simple. I didn't really get too crazy with it. I decided to do this rock formation in the middle and then, um, some of the date palms and then some of these California palms around the outside of the key just because I felt like it was going to be a really nice entrance. This would be a really good area for um, like a big welcome sign. But again, I didn't get one off, off the Steam Workshop, but maybe we'll, we'll go ahead and add it in later. And so now what I would like to do is go ahead and create a little bit of a plaza right here. And then I think we will do a little bit like a small garden on either side. And so because this is an airport and I have the Parkify, I can actually jump into parks and go in here and I'm gonna go ahead and place down the restaurant. I know this is the standard design that I tend to do for a lot of these places, but I think it just looks so well, uh, so good within a lot of these um, scenarios. And so we're actually going to drop this back there and I'm going to jump into my favorite, favorite little plaza. And again, if you're interested in the assets or mods that I use, go ahead and click the link in the description. It will lead you to my mod and asset list on Steam. And so we're gonna go like that and then we are going to jump into paths we're going to go like this and we're going to go all the way across just so that we can give access to that, um, that key wall as well. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to a ground piece and then we will draw this guy forward. I want it to be in the middle. So I'll probably go like that and then we will shift it over and then I'm just going to do a couple little planters right here. Just kind of clean it up. I think we will end up using these small ones. I really like what we did with the, with the transit terminal and, um, doing them as barricades. I think that's super smart. So I think we're gonna go three on the sides. We'll go like that and then we will come in and do two. So we'll go like that. And then I think I'm just gonna shift these a little bit. So we'll come in like right here. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And then um, that way we can actually come in here and do like a nice little bench or something. I could do another planter right there in the middle, but I think we'll, we'll skip that. And I think I'm just gonna do a little curb network back here. Just something to clean it up a little bit. Okay, and there we go. So I ended up using the little curb network, something super easy, and then the, my not conforming grass blocks to kind of fill these in. Then I did the small wild hedges with the young linden, the new trees, 
that came with the recent patch. And then I put one of the live oaks back here and I decided to do some more young lindens inside of our little planters with some trees in here. And so now the only thing left to do is actually just go ahead and paint all this in. So we're gonna go like that, bada bing. And you know what? I think that actually looks pretty good. It does look like this space is kind of missing something. I wonder if maybe we can do a couple more planters in there, but a part of me also thinks that we should just leave it open because the tables are there. And so I think maybe we'll, we'll leave that for now. But I think this looks really good. I really like that we did the, the little planters and stuff. And I think it is just going to be a really nice addition for this area. Okay, so then I think for these areas, we'll just do a similar thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do the planters. And then we will do a little bit of a walking path. Maybe um, like a flower bed or something like that. And voila, there we go. I decided to get away from the curbs because of the uneven even ground because of these... Uh, bridge pieces, it wasn't really easy to draw in the curbs. And so I decided to just um, accentuate the pathways with these bushes. I think it looks really good. I decided to go a little more minimalistic, just grassy areas, um, something to where if people are walking through here, it'd still be really nice to look at. And so, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and throw in some rocks in these roundabouts, something to give it a nice little feel. Oh, there we go. Something super easy. But then I did the palm trees around. It just kind of cleans it up a little bit. Just like we'll be doing some light decorations in this area too. But I think we're going to do some parking right here and then we will um, figure out something else to do. I think this terminal is a little bit too small though. So what I want to do is just extend it out a little bit. And so what we're going to do is go in here and delete this guy. And we're going to go in here and delete this guy as well. And so we are back to where we are just two spaces across. Then we will come in here and we're just going to go one more out. And then I'm going to jump back into our rural road. I'm going to go like this. We're going to go three out and then three up. Maybe we'll go two up. Yeah, if we can go like right there, so maybe three out and then two up. I think that could be good. Let's go ahead and look at that though. Because I want it to be more of a curve than a flat piece. Maybe if we go like right there. Yeah, you know what? I think that's actually perfect. So we'll go like that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for there. I wanted it to be almost like a parentheses or something. Enough to where we could still fit some airplane stands on these sides, but also big enough to justify how large of an entryway this is. And so I think this would be pretty good. And so let's go ahead and um, now that we have that done, let's draw this guy out. We're not gonna be able to finish it until we have another side, but I want to kind of see what we're working with landscape wise. And so I'm just gonna go in here and kind of fill in these spaces real quick. And there we go. I think that actually looks really good. It's kind of funny. I see this little space back here. We could just fill in with some concrete. If we just go like that, yeah, look at that. And you know, we didn't fill these with trees either. So let's go ahead and we are going to do the the California palm again just because of how big it is and how much space we need in here. And so I'm going to go to say six. And then what I want to do, let's go ahead and put these guys in there. Yeah, look at that. There we go. And it just kind of cleans up the outside a little bit and we can kind of come in here. And I think we even, because of that path, we'll uh, delete these guys just until we get down below. It just helps it to kind of differentiate that height difference, but I think it looks really good. If you guys like this design, go ahead and hit that like button. I super appreciate it. And now we are going to kind of cheat a little bit. I'm going to go back here and we're going to delete this guy. And I'm literally just going to go into move it. We're going to select this whole guy and we are just going to copy. And the reason we're doing this is because it saves a ton of time. And we need to go in here and we're going to delete this guy. And um, it also allows us to do... Uh, to capture some of that symmetry I, I like so much when it comes to uh, especially airports. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go. We want it to be level with that. It doesn't really matter if it's parallel with the other side, but I want it to be parallel with our freeway. And then we need it to be a little bit in so that the water doesn't flood this area. So I think, you know, like right there is probably good. And then we have to go in and change change the height levels and everything. Like you can kind of see everything's just all weird. It's just because the we had leveled everything out, and so we are going to have to go in and do that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up real quick. Okay, and there we go. Successfully copied. And so this actually looks really good. I don't see any um, weird discrepancies. I don't doubt that we will end up finding some sort of height disparities at some point, but I think it looks good. And I really like how our parking garage has turned out. I think this whole area just looks super clean. I do want to put in some little planters back here though. I was kind of looking at it. I was like, man, this area is just missing something. And so if we come in here and I'm going to go to small planter, we're just going to draw some little guys like this. Nothing too crazy, just like that. And then that way, um, I kind of want to fix this too. This looks a little weird. I think our other side looks a little better than this. 
So what I want to do is um, probably go like this and we will just choose the ground level down there and we'll just kind of clean this up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that might be the best we're going to get it. So I'm just not going to focus on that. And so we will come in here and I'm going to do the young lindens again, since this is just such a great little tree. We're going to go every other one. So we're going to come in here we're going to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and put lights in the middle of this as well. So we're just going to jump in to find it, go to lights. And we're probably just going to use that uh, three light. It's light, not lights. For some reason, whenever you do lights, it comes up with too much. We're going to go ahead and use this park street light because I really like how it has the three lights. I think it's a very classic look, very clean. And there we go. Just a nice, easy way to clean up these areas. I think it looks good. Again, if you guys enjoy this, go ahead and hit that like button. Okay, and so now what we are going to do is go ahead and create a terminal in the middle. Um, I really want to create something that's going to be really fun, but also uh, fits in with the area. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these up because I want the terminal to uh, fit in with these terminals in terms of shape. And so we're going to go ahead and choose like a middle piece. We'll go like right there and then we're going to come out too. So we'll go out like right here and there you go. And the reason I did that is just so that we could get a nice shape going. And then we will delete one, go like that. We're going to go ahead and delete two. I think we'll go ahead and delete three in. So we'll go like that, go like that. And then we're going to jump in here to this modern concourse hub. I think we may even go one more in. So I think we're going to go one more. Yeah, we'll go like right there. And the reason I'm leaving the space in the middle is because I want to imagine that this is a little bit bigger than them. Um, for some reason, the concourses in this game aren't super proportional. Uh, a lot of times, I mean, the concourses are significantly larger than an airport and yet, or than an airplane. And yet the concourses in this game are they're kind of small in, in comparison to the actual airplanes. And so I wanted to build out uh, an area that was just a little bit bigger. So then we will come in here and let's go ahead and connect that guy up. So yeah, there we go. I think that actually looks pretty good. And so I'd kind of played around with a couple ideas to do um, like some of those circle concourses that you see on uh, in airports. So like where you come out and then you do a little circle, but it just doesn't work out super well with the way that this game does the airplane stands. And so I think we will just end up doing um, some regular stands in here, even though it does kind of kill some of our space a little bit. Because we could even put two of these. Maybe we'll actually do that. So we'll um, come in here. We'll go like this. And then we will just shift it over. And we'll see if we can. I think we can fit two right there. So if we go right there. And then let's go ahead and copy it again. Let's go right here. It's going to be really tight. So we, um, we definitely may have some issues. I don't know how well this is going to work. But if we go like that. Because the problem now is, let's go ahead and see if, if we do airplane stands off of this, are we going to be able to get um, taxiways in so that the airplanes can actually leave, or are they just going to be stuck? See if they go like that, go like that, and then let's see. So it actually does look like we might be able to get, because I mean, we can even get another road coming down the middle. I actually think that's going to work. So then um, what I do want to do is have them parallel with each other since uh, them being parallel with each other is going to make things so much easier. I actually think that looks pretty good. And so now what I want to do is uh, jump into um, some nice little decorations for this middle section. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay down a bunch of these kind of next to each other so that we can have a little bit of a glass ceiling, but we are going to cover it a little bit and then I'll kind of go over how I'm, how I'm doing it after we are done. All right, and there we go. It's kind of crazy. I definitely took it a little far, but I, what basically what I did was I did these uh, little grass canopies, and I did them with the uh, procedural objects again. Just basically broke down a roof that I'd found on Steam. It's this uh, Ultra Hub, and so I had a, what is it? A open roof. Yeah, this guy right here. So open roof tram, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it a part of my uh, mod collection in case you guys want to kind of mess around with it. And then you just convert it into a PO, and you can break it break it down. And you get these nice little roof pieces. And I think it just looks really cool. And so what we're going to do in here is just do some paths and then do um, some restaurants and stuff. Like make it so that it's a nice area that people would I, I realistically just be waiting for their flights. These would be within the terminal. And so you really wouldn't have too much access. But what I want to do is just kind of create some nice areas. And we'll probably do um, some nice patterns too. So maybe we'll have one guy running straight down the middle yeah we'll go like that and then we will copy it on this side and then we'll just do some nice patterns so maybe we'll um, have this guy i think we're gonna turn off snapping and have this guy go like this and we'll probably have it 
do the same thing over here. So go like that. And then let's go ahead and go like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Yeah, there we go. Some a really simple pattern, but then one that's going to allow us to do um, some planters and stuff and then some restaurants. So I want to jump in here and we're going to go to our nice little uh, park cafe again. And we are going to just do a sprinkling of these. We'll probably do one right here. We'll actually put it off this road. So we'll do like right there and we'll go ahead and do another one down here. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think we will do an underground metro station in here just so that people can still access it from the airport. I honestly don't know if people will still come in here, but I'm really hopeful that we'll see some people kind of walking around and stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do some little gazebos in here too. Just, I mean, I don't, it's not really something that you would see in an airport, but I mean, I guess maybe you could, you could see, they wouldn't be the same kind of gazebo that a lot of people would think of like, um, an outdoor gazebo. They would be more just like a seating area. Just because these are going to help people to be attracted to this. <laughs> I was kind of playing around with the idea of maybe even doing like a theme park in the middle or something, but I think this will be good. And then um, let's go ahead and do a small metro station. We're going to do just the simple underground one because uh, I think doing an above ground one in here is going to be almost impossible. All right, so I went ahead and put in some metro stations. I went ahead and converted this middle road to a pedestrian road, and then I um, went ahead and put a tunnel underneath this um, terminal right here just because I really wanted it out of sight. And we're even going to um, get out of here and just kind of tuck this back because I really don't want people to be able to see it um, aesthetically. I mean, obviously, this uh, wouldn't be too realistic, but it just makes it look a little cleaner. Um, especially in an area where people would just be able to have shops in here. And so that's really what I'm trying to capture with this is a more realistic vibe since deliveries would just be made to the front of the building, but you can't have zoning like this, like that deliveries can't be transported through an airport. Deliveries have to be made from the road. And then same, even with this Metro, the only reason I'm putting it there is so that we can get people in here. Whereas in real life, people would be able to just exit the terminal and come in here and go see the little shopping while they're waiting for their flight or whatever. And so it's not incredibly realistic, but it helps us to capture more of a realistic vibe. And that's really what I'm trying to go for here. All right. So now what I want to do is start working on our runway. So let's jump in here. And what I'm thinking is we are going to first off expand out this area. I thought we were already pretty far out here, but I guess not. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to come up here and go like this. Bada bing, look at that. It already looks so good. This airport, I, I'm really enjoying this uh, this design. I think it looks really cool. It's definitely kind of like an elegant look. And so, um, yeah, I definitely, I enjoy it. So we're gonna go like this and we're gonna come all the way down here. I think we may even, cause we got some space right here. We could dredge up some of this corner. So let's come over here and we're going to increase the brush size just a little bit. We need to unpause that our flooding doesn't take forever. And so we'll come in here. Yeah, there we go. We'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and copy it. So we will go two out, maybe not two out. I mean, we could do that's nah, it's so close. So I'm actually, we're going to get rid of that because I want it to be a little further out from that terminal. I don't like that. It's that close. So we're going to come in here. We are going to go like this. So let's jump back in here and expand this out now. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to come out here and create a nice little square and go to our runway now. And we should be able to fit one in. So let's go like this and come on guys. Yeah, I know I can't build on water. Just get out of the way. There you go. And then now we should be able to come out too. And this is really the goal, but we'll kind of see. Yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and look at that. I like it. I think it is definitely a little tight to this um, terminal right here. I think we may even shift that just a little more up. So let's go ahead and grab these guys. We're just going to shift them up. Yeah, I think that would be better. And then let's um, go in here and we are just going to expand out a little guy to be like right there. And then we need to go into our ship paths. So we're going to jump in here, go into ship paths and go like this. Oh, it actually looks like it's good. Oh no, we're we're gonna clip this corner a little bit. Okay, after much finagling, I have finally gotten it in. And so now what I want to do is jump in here and we are going to go to a key wall. We're just gonna go to the standard one. And I want to try to do a square around this. And so we're gonna go like this. You're gonna come up here. We're gonna go out like this. The game's running a little slow because that water. All right, and there we go. We got our first little square runway in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. I think I'm going to uh, probably bring the square out right here and then cut it down here. I think that'll end work now. 
could also cut it back here, but I don't want it that close to that terminal. Kind of like how that one is over there. I really don't like that. I would prefer it to be um, a little bit further away. All right, and there we go. And so now we just need to allow it to flood. I ended up finishing the key balls all the way around as well. I think it looks good. It's not entirely symmetrical, but it leaves us some room to be able to do cargo terminal over here maybe, or uh, just other things as well, like hangers. I definitely want to do a lot of hangers with this one too, like we did with the last build. All right, so we have everything in. Now the only thing left we need to do is airplane stands, taxiways, warehouses and then concrete, and then figure out if we're going to do a cargo terminal. I think for right now, this is probably it for this episode. I really want to leave it up to the community for you guys to decide what we should do with the rest of this, um, especially like this middle section. We don't have any electricity hooked up, so all these people are kind of going abandoned, but I like the little shops that we're kind of getting. This is what I was hoping for was these little stalls, and it does look like we have the water trucks in here, thankfully, but it's going to be a really nice area. Like We're going to do some planters, and there's really so much that we can do with this airport. It does look like we need to adjust our ship path again. But let me know what you guys think, and if you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're interested in checking out another one of my airport builds, go ahead and click on the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next episode.